Alrighty folks, let's hope my hair doesn't fall out. Hey y'all, what is up, Kaka Squad? And welcome to Booty Guru Wednesday, where we focus on all things booty. So today, I'm gonna be doing something that y'all have been wanting me to do forever, and that is to try hair products from the Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've always had like this underlying fear that if I tried hair products from the Dollar Store, that I would get like chemical burns on my scalp and like blisters and warts and like my hair would fall out the next morning. But then I realized I've tried expensive hair products that freaking suck nads, okay? So it might not be as bad as I think. So I did it and I tried it for science. So I went to my local Dollar Tree where everything is $1 and I went to the hair care section and there were actually a lot of products. A lot of them were bootleg versions of store brand names and there were some brands that I was not familiar with. The brands that I was familiar with was Alberto VO5, White Rain, and Suave Essentials. So first I needed to find a shampoo and looking at the ingredients, the formulas were pretty much identical with sodium lord sulfate as the main detergent. There was this product that claimed to have less sulfates, but it also contained sodium lord sulfate, so I'm not really sure what they meant by that. Another tricky thing is when products claim to have natural extracts, but if you look at the ingredients, sometimes that extract is the last ingredient, which means it does virtually nothing. A pleasant surprise that I did find was a paraben free and silicone free conditioner. Over half of the product was made of natural extracts, which is actually really good. My only complaint is that free fragrance was very high up in the list. Another pleasant surprise was that I found a curl cream and to make it even better it was silicone free. And then lastly I had to find a styler and what caught my eye was this product because it's a bootleg version of Moco de Gorilla which is a Hispanic gel and it didn't contain any silicones so I decided to go with this one. <laughs> So here are the products that I bought. It came down to a grand total of $4.33, which means I could have bought four $1 McChickens. So y'all better like this video. So first I tried the shampoo. This is the Suave Essentials Tropical Bobo Nut Nourishing Shampoo. It contains sodium lord sulfate, which is the harshest detergent that there is. Also notice how coconut is the very last ingredient, which means this formula contains approximately 0.1% coconut, which means nothing. The texture is very, very, very watery and runny. It does feel like watered down, and I don't know if that's how they're able to cut down the price of the product because most of these were really runny. And I put it on my hair and I lathered it up, but in all honesty, it didn't feel that bad. However, the truth is revealed when you rinse out a shampoo because then you can done diddly see how done diddly dry done diddly did it. And it did leave my hair slightly squeaky, which I really freaking hate. But you know what? Sulfate, I'm not surprised. Not that bad. Next, I used the Alberto VO5 Passion Fruit Smoothie Moisturizing Conditioner. It is paraben and silicone free and contains hydrolyzed soy milk protein in carnata flower extract, whatever that means, panthenol, vitamin E, vitamin H. Vitamin H? Is that even real? Is there a vi what? There's a vitamin H? Rosemary, sweet almond oil, sunflower, and mango seed oil. Not bad at all, Alberto. Not bad at all. It smells really, really, really good. And you know what? It says smoothie, so who knows? Maybe you can drink it. This stuff is so insanely runny. All I did was open it and turn it upside down to dispense it, okay? And it just spilled everywhere. And honestly, it's a hazard, okay? Because I was afraid that I was gonna slip and freaking crack my maceta. So I started to finger comb it through my hair and the slip is not the best in the world. Eventually, it done diddly took out my damn tank. So I was really impressed. So I rinsed it out and it still felt good. Like my hair didn't feel dried out. It felt moisturized. So you know what? This is a pretty okay conditioner for being one freaking dollar. Good job, Alberto. Next, I used the curl cream, which was a pleasant surprise. I did not expect to find anything like this at all. It is the Salon Selectives Curl Control Curl Stretch Cream. It contains shea butter and I couldn't find any silicones so I think it is curly girl and curly boy approved. 
So I got out of the shower and I detangled my hair some more with a wide tooth comb. Then I took a little bit of the curl cream and it smells pretty good. So I just smoothed and styled the cream over my hair. And honestly, looking back, I don't think it did much. I mean, it didn't dry out my hair, which is good, but I didn't notice like a significant difference in moisture or curl definition. So it was mm, meh. And then lastly, I used the Hair Gunk Hair Gel, which I grabbed it because it made me laugh because it's a bootleg version of Moco de Gorilla, which is a Hispanic gel. So I just really wanted to try it out, you know, for poops and giggles. And there are no natural extracts. And from what I can see, there are no silicones. And the consistency is pretty thick. I shook the jar and nothing came out. And it smells really good. It smells like pineapple. Honestly, all of these products had a very pleasant smell, which is great. So I grabbed a little bit of gel, smoothed that over my hair, and scrunched it into my ends. After styling, I tried plopping my hair with a wig cap like I always do, but for some reason, it just wasn't working out, okay? I don't know why. Sometimes it really be like that. So I just air dried. And after five hours of air drying, here were my results, and honestly, wasn't wasn't that bad not too shabby i mean not the best results i've had in my entire life my hair didn't feel dry or crunchy and these results is actually the day after that whole process you just saw was yesterday and i wanted to wait one day to see what my hair looked like afterwards because like i say you know the fear of my hair falling out so this is second day hair with dollar tree products let's take a good gander y'all So, final thoughts. The shampoo was not as harsh as I expected. The conditioner was, it was, she was struggling at first, but eventually she got the job done. The curl cream, I didn't notice a big difference with it, but at least it didn't dry my hair out. And then the gel, I definitely not the best gel for curly hair. I think it's a decent gel for short straight hair that you wanna spike or something, but when it comes to like curl definition, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Overall, my experience with the products was definitely more positive than negative, which I didn't expect. I feel like I was judging them very harshly just based on the fact that they were from Dollar Tree and they were a dollar which honestly it doesn't really matter I mean it does matter but it also doesn't because like I said I have truly tried products that are expensive and they suck nads so it wasn't that bad however I do want to point out that I just used them once who knows what my results would have been if I had used them consistently my hair could have progressively gotten drier and crunchier alrighty y'all so that is my experience using hair products from the dollar store let me know down below if you have ever tried beauty products from the dollar tree comment like and subscribe and let me know what else you would like for me to do on this channel Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.